What's up everybody, I'm Logan from Sleepopolis.com and today I'll be reviewing the newly updated Casper Essential mattress. I'll give you some recommendations, some complaints, who I think should buy the Casper Essential and who should stay away. I'll also be comparing the Essential to a few other Casper mattresses, but if you're interested in those full reviews, just Google Casper mattress Sleepopolis. But for right now, let's find out what the Essential feels like. Now I mentioned that the Essential is newly updated and it's basically just a little bit taller. It moved up to 11 inches in height. That's still shorter than the Casper and the Casper Wave or the Casper Hybrid mattresses. This is more of their no frills kind of value option. It's a little bit less expensive than the other mattresses, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Now in terms of the feel of the Casper Essential, it's a bit firmer uh, than the other mattresses in my opinion. It comes in at like a seven and a half out of 10 on the firmness scale. So that's pretty good support out of a foam mattress. I think you're gonna really like it. If you're a back sleeper, when I was lying on my back, my weight's pretty evenly distributed. I felt like it did a really good job of keeping my hips supported uh, without, so it didn't allow them to sink too far into the mattress. There is a little bit of sinkage into the softer top foam there, but really good support. I felt like it did a good job keeping my spinal line in a good position. Now, as I'm rolling around changing positions, that firm feel means I'm more on top of the mattress. I don't feel stuck in the foam layers of the essential at all. As I roll onto my side, something to note is that firm mattresses generally aren't a good idea for strict side sleepers. That's because you're going to kind of bump up against really firm materials. You're going to feel a little jammed up the shoulders. You might have pressure points forming at places like the hips. We're going to take a closer look at pressure in just a little bit, but I would say that uh, while I do like the firm feel for back sleepers, I don't think it's a good choice for the kind of strict side sleepers out there. If you're rolling around a little bit during the night, it's probably going to be okay for a little bit, but if you're spending most of the night on your side, I don't think you should go with the Casper Essential. Now rolling onto my stomach, we're kind of looking for the opposite. You want firm, firm support if you're a stomach sleeper so your hips don't sink into the mattress, so your back doesn't bow or anything like that, causing you to wake up with aches and pains in the lower back. Again, I do think this has a firmer feel to it, so it's a good choice for the stomach sleepers out there. If you're a bit heavier, you're a really strict stomach sleeper, you want coil support, I totally get that. So you, you might want to look for something a little bit different, but if you kind of roll onto your stomach for a little bit of the night or uh, you're on the smaller side and you're a stomach sleeper, I think the essential is a good choice. Now I've peeled back the cover of the Casper Essential to give you a better look at the materials going on in the layers of the mattress. So starting with the cover, it's got this knit cover. It's got a thick, durable feel to it. Uh, and other than that, it doesn't really change the feel of the mattress too much, but it should uh, be pretty durable, stand up over time. Now below that, we have the comfort layer of the mattress, which is a poly foam. It's got a pretty quick response to pressure, kind of a medium firmness. You're probably gonna be able to sink into that pretty easily. So you will get a little bit of sinkage and pressure relief here before transitioning further into the mattress. Now, as you can see below that, we have a thin memory foam layer. You can see that slow response to pressure. So that's gonna allow you to sink even further into the mattress, little bit more pressure relief here. Now, something to note about how they set this up, which is similar to the way they set up their other mattresses is that they put memory foam below a poly foam or latex alternative foam because memory foam can be known for giving you the stuck in the mattress feeling and also trapping a bit of body heat. So they place it below something that sleeps a little bit cooler and allows you to change positions a bit easier. As you're moving through the mattress, you transfer really quickly from that softer memory foam into the firm high density poly foam, which is a really common material in a lot of uh, mattresses, especially bend to box mattresses. It's gonna provide support to the layers overall. And also when you push through this mattress, it's gonna give you that firm feel that you're getting out of the Casper Essential. It kind of gives the Essential its shape overall. Now for every mattress that I review, I run a few tests on the mattress to give you more objective view about what the mattress is all about. So with the Casper Essential, the first test that I run is the pressure map test. And basically I put a pressure map down on top of the mattress, lie down in a few positions, and you'll see the results next to me ranging from blue for low pressure to red for high pressure. Now lying down on my back, Weight's evenly distributed, like I said before. You can see that it's pretty much blue pressure across the board. That's really what we're expecting out of this portion of the review. I see that with most bed in a box mattresses, mattresses in general. So really just checking to see if there's anything different about the Essential. If the Essential performs up to snuff. Like I said before, there's good support here. I felt like it did a good job supporting my hips. I like the Essential for back sleepers. Now rolling onto my side, this is where we generally see some differences in results across a few different mattresses. Here you can see that there is raised pressure 
at the shoulders. You know, here it shows mostly into that lighter green region. It's not quite into the yellow or red that we see on some mattresses, but I do think you should be a little careful as a side sleeper on a firmer mattress like the Casper Essential because over time you can start to feel jammed up. Uh, you know, we don't see any pressure at the hips here, which is a good sign for side sleepers. Sometimes you see pressure points forming at the hips with firmer mattresses, but I will say that I would be careful just because of that shoulder area on the essential. Now rolling onto my stomach, again, weights evenly distributed, again, mostly blue pressure across the board. That's to be expected with most mattresses that I've tested. Uh, and again, I do like the essential for the stomach sleepers out there because of that firmer support. I didn't feel my hips sinking too far into the mattress. It felt like my spine was aligned in a pretty good position while on the essential. So again, Low pressure for the back and stomach sleepers and good support for the hips. A little bit too high pressure for my liking at the shoulders for the side sleepers out there, so just be careful. Now, a few other tests that I run include a bounce test on the mattress, so basically checking to see how quick the response to pressure is, if you're gonna feel stuck in the mattress. Like I said before, I do find myself feeling more on top of the Casper Essential, really easy to change positions. It's not quite bounced like you might expect out of a traditional inner spring mattress with that kind of pop from the coils, but there is good mobility on the Essential mattress. Now, another test that I run is a motion transfer test, and basically that's to check if someone's getting into bed on the other side of the mattress, rolling around during the middle of the night. If you're gonna be disturbed where you're sleeping on your side of the bed, so I put a seismometer down where you might be sleeping, and then drop a 10 pound steel ball from heights of four, eight, and 12 inches to simulate someone kind of getting into and out of bed, rolling around during the middle of the night, and then we track the disturbance transferred across the mattress. And I was actually pretty impressed with the results for the Casper Essential. I gotta say, usually when I'm testing firmer mattresses, I expect higher motion transfer because there's less give to the mattress, but I was pretty impressed with the results here. Uh, you know, it did a pretty good job of keeping the four and eight inch uh, kind of motion to a minimum. So if you sleep with a restless partner, you shouldn't be disturbed too much by that motion transfer. The 12 inch did get a little bit higher, but that's to be expected if someone jumps into bed, you probably will feel it during the middle of the night, but overall pretty impressive results. Now, if you're checking out this review of the Essential, I'm assuming it's not the only mattress you're looking at. So I wanna give you a few of Essential's main competitors. First up is the Essential versus the Nectar mattress, which is another all foam bend to box mattress. Now I'm comparing it to the Essential because of the similar price range. There's a much different feel to it with Nectar using a heavy dose of memory foam to give you that classic sinking into the mattress feeling, that contouring around your body. I really like it for the side sleepers who need a bit of a softer mattress so you don't jam up against firmer materials. One drawback to all that memory foam, that classic memory foam feel, is that it can sleep a little bit hot and it is a little slow moving so if you're trying to change positions you might feel stuck in those layers now as i mentioned before the nectar does come in at a similar price to the essential with a price range of 399 dollars up to 899 dollars for the king size version Next up is the Essential versus the Tuft & Needle mattress. Now it's another all foam bend to box. And I think that the Tuft & Needle has a really similar feel to the Casper Essential. It's got this straightforward, just two layer foam design with a firm feel to it, right in that seven, seven and a half out of 10 range, just like the Essential. Again, good for back and stomach sleepers out there. I think it does a pretty good job of sleeping cool. Now in terms of price, it ranges from $350 up to $750. Again, I don't think the Tuft & Needle, much like the Essential, is a great choice for the side sleepers. Now Casper has five models total in their mattress line at this time, so I want to compare the Essential to a few of the other ones. First up is the Casper Original. Now it is also an all foam bend to box. It's a little bit taller than the Essential with an extra layer of foam. It also uses this zone support system, so it's going to allow you to sink in at the softer foams at the shoulders while giving you support at the hips, which is really nice for the side sleeping spine alignment and also to avoid pressure forming at the shoulders. Now in terms of price, it is a bit more expensive than the Essential coming in at a range of $695 up to $1,495 for the king size version. But if you use the code SLEEPOPOLIS, you can save $100 at checkout. Then it is the other all foam bend -a box version in the Casper line. It is the Casper Wave. It is taller than both the Essential 
and the original Casper, and it takes the zone support system found in the original Casper just a little bit further with some contouring at the shoulder slicing deep in there and gel support at the hips for a little bit extra support in that area. I think it has a really plush luxury feel to it, and that soft feel is great for the side sleepers out there. Now, it is the most expensive of Casper's foam mattresses, ranging in price from $1,375 up to $2,995 for the king size version. But again, if you use the code Sleepopolis, you can save $200 on your Casper Wave purchase. Now, I really like the Casper Essentials, so before I end the review, I wanna give a few recommendations on who I think should buy it. First up, it is a great value. It is the least expensive of Casper's mattresses, and I gotta say, I think it's totally worth it. It's a really quality bed at a good price. Next up, I think it's a good choice for the back and stomach sleepers out there. It's got that really nice support, keeping your hips from sinking into the mattress and keeping your spinal line in a good position, which is really important for the back and stomach sleepers out there. And finally, I recommend it to those looking for a firm feel from their mattress, especially an all foam bend -a box mattress. A lot of them can come in the medium or soft range. So a mattress with a firmer feel is a little harder to come by. And I think the essential is a great choice for those looking for that firm all foam mattress. Now, given all that, I don't think it's the perfect mattress for everybody, so some of my cons or complaints with the Casper Essential are that I don't think it's a great choice for these side sleepers out there. Just kind of the nature of a firmer feel to the mattress. You're not gonna be able to sink as far in for pressure relief. Might feel a little bit jammed up the shoulders. You might have some pressure points forming. Shoulders and the hips are two problem areas for a lot of side sleepers, so you might wanna look towards one of the softer mattresses in Casper's line if the uh, price range is right for you. You know, the original Casper, Casper Wave, the Casper Hybrid, Wave Hybrid are all softer feels and a really great choices for the side sleepers out there. Now, I also don't think it's a great choice if you are just looking for a soft feel. Like I said, it's a firmer feel, more support to it. So if you really like the idea of sinking deep into bed, I don't think the essential is going to give that to you. Now, if you're interested in buying the Casper Essential, I wanna give you a little bit of basic purchasing information. First up, there is a 100 night trial period. You can have it in your home for a little over three months, deciding whether you wanna keep it, send it back. There's a 10 year warranty, so you're gonna to wanna to check out exactly what that covers on their website, but I gotta say 10 years is pretty much the standard for the online bed in a box market. It ships for free, it will arrive compressed in a box, so you're gonna to wanna to let it kinda of unwrap it and then let it decompress for a few hours or even overnight so you get the full support and feel of the mattress before you sleep on it. And finally, in terms of price, it ranges from $450 up to $995 for the king size version. So that's it for my updated review of the Casper Essential. If there's anything I didn't cover, just leave a comment below. Now, if you're interested in finding out more about the full Casper line, you can Google Casper Mattress Review plus Sleepopolis. We're gonna have more information in each of those individual reviews. Also, follow us on Facebook and Twitter so you don't miss any of our sleep news or our giveaway announcements. And check out sleepopolis.com for all of your sleep needs.